Good morning, students. Welcome to class. I am happy that you all are here. Yes, welcome to grade eight. And this semester, we want to have some fun, right? So for this semester, we will be looking at, at the big topic, worship right worship is the big topic that we're going to look at i know some of you you may not like religious education but religious education is not just about um the teacher christianizing you guys right no it's not about christianizing anybody it's 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 just to get you to be familiar with the different religious diversities that are, you know, in Jamaica and not only in Jamaica, but all over the world, right? And you may say to yourself, oh, I don't need religious education. Or you may say to yourself, well, I want to become a nurse. If it was left up to me alone, um, religious, edu religious education would be compulsory. Why? Because any career that you're going into, you're going to deal with people who are from different religious backgrounds, different beliefs. And if you don't know how to deal with these persons, then you're going to be in serious problem. Take, for instance, um, you are a nurse or you are a doctor and a patient comes in and that patient is is not conscious if you are not careful you can get in trouble for example if that person wants blood you can't just give them a blood transfusion just like that you have to know if they if they accept blood based on their religious belief take for instance the Jehovah witnesses they they are trained in such a way that they don't take blood from anybody even if they're dying they do not take blood because they believe that only the blood of jesus um you know can really save anybody so you being a doctor not knowing that you and and give that person a blood transfusion you can get into serious problem but if you are trained if you are trained and you know you did religious education then you would have known that you need to check the person check the person wallet because the Jehovah's witnesses they have what they call a blood card a no blood card and they tell you what you can substitute for blood but you will just go and give that person a blood transfusion the family can sue you all right so religious education is very important you want to travel overseas like for example america where you have a lot of jews where you have a lot of Hindus there, a lot of Muslims, you can't just go there and behave in your anyhow, right? Because the least little thing that you say, it can get you into trouble. All right, but, but, but you want to always be on the safe side. All right, so the big topic for today is worship. All right, the big topic here, worship. Ensure that you are taking notes in your notebooks. Ensure that you have your materials ready for class. All right. And there's nothing to fear in this class because you will be updated from time to time. I am always here. Whatever it is that you need, I am right here for you guys. All right. I'm going to engage you at this time in a concept mapping activity. All right. And right in here, we want to put the word worship. No, I want some phrases that comes to mind, you know, when you think of the term worship. So I'm going to put some words here that come to mind when you think of the term worship and these are normally some responses that my students would normally give to me so i'm going to include them here in this concept mapping activity so i'm going to put my little arrows around here and you can do the same thing in your notebooks 
it makes it easy for you when you're going to define the term and you can understand it easily now i'll give you about five seconds to think about to think about a, a, a phrase or a word that that, that, that that comes to your mind when you think about worship all right so put my little box there and i'm gonna just write some phrases that i normally get so praying or some person may say singing Some person may say God, capital G O D, or someone may say gods. I know some religions they have female gods, they call them goddesses. Some person may even say adoration, others may say reverence. Or they can say respect. And the final one that can go here. Let me see. All right, let us put church right there. All right. So if you look at all, all the phrases that we have here, you would notice that we don't need all of these phrases in order to define the term worship. All right, singing and praying. We will not use singing and praying. So we will eliminate, we'll eliminate these two phrases. We will eliminate church. We're going to stay with God. God's goddesses. We're going to stay with respect, reverence, adoration. And we're going to remove church. Right. The reason why we're going to remove church is that church, church is for Christians. Church is the is a place of worship for Christians. And if we're going to define worship on the general level, we cannot say church. We can use it as an example, but we cannot use it in the general term because we have other places of worship. So if you're going to give it as an example, fine. But I don't want you to give it to me um, on the general basis. Good? All right. So we are going to eliminate these, but I'm going to let them stay for now. I am going to write a definition here using some of the phrases on our concept map. What I want you to do in your notebooks, I want you to first create a definition using adoration, reverence, respect, and God's and goddesses on in and also add God to it as well right I want you to use a definition for your own all right so after you're finished writing your own definition I'm going to give you another definition for the term worship so you can say worship is given adoration reverence and respect to the supreme being supreme being and in bracket you put god or other spiritual beings and in bracket you put lowercase g o d s or goddesses all right so that's your full definition and with that said you would realize like that i use adoration reverence respect i use god gods and goddesses all right so what if you would like to use singing praying and also church all right so you would say worship can or i can say worship worship can be done in any place of worship 
such as a church. See that? All right, then you say worship can take the form can take the form of what what would you say all right singing and praying and you would have used all the words on your concept map right but if i ask you to define the term do not do not say worshiping is a singing and praying those are examples or we can say those are ways in which people worship but worship is really giving adoration respect and reverence to this supreme being or other spiritual beings and when you say other spiritual beings you mean idols right and you know that when it comes on to hinduism buddhism sikhism you find them using a lot of idols as you proceed into this um into this into this um unit you will get to understand more about the different religious worship all right all right students so ensure that you have written off this information on the board what i am going to do now i am going to clear I'm going to clear the board and we're going to look at examples of worship or ways in which people worship so we're going to put ways ways in which people worship all right you can say people worship by praying, singing, meditating. They worship by reading, reading their sacred text. So when you want to compile all the all the um holy books, you call them sacred texts. All right, and also people worship when they when they have fellowship with believers all right so we can we can stop right there